nomine Patris et Filii et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. I'm here at St. Stephen's Catholic Church in Portland, Oregon. Today is the fourth of nine Tuesdays to St. Anthony. This is a novena where we pray just once a week on Tuesday for nine consecutive weeks. So thank you for joining me. Let us begin with our opening prayer to be said every Tuesday, and you can print this out. There is a link for a PDF uh, printout of these prayers. If you print them out double-sided, binding with a left-hand short binding, you can fold it and there you are, or you can pick up a copy here in the church. Let us begin with the opening prayer to be said every Tuesday. O glorious Saint Anthony, safe refuge of the afflicted and distressed, who miraculously revealed that all who piously invoke you on nine consecutive Tuesdays will experience your powerful help. I, a poor sinner, encouraged by this promise, come to you, and with a firm hope I employ your aid and your counsel and your blessing. Obtain help for me, dear saint, in my present necessity, and let us call to mind now our present necessities. and all the necessities of those who are praying this novena. But if it be opposed to the will of God and the welfare of my soul, obtain for me such other graces as shall be helpful to my salvation. Through Christ our Lord, amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Pray for us, O blessed Saint Anthony that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O gentle and loving Saint Anthony, in whose arms the infant Jesus ever loved to linger, grant your powerful aid, and at your word my prayer will be granted. Amen. Now before we continue with our prayer for the fourth Tuesday and the ending of our prayer, let's consider our meditation for today. Today I'd like to tell you about something called St. Anthony's Brief. St. Anthony's Brief. This is referring to a brief little prayer. Now, I have to, excuse me, I have to take something out of my shirt pocket here. Ah, yes, okay. I have a little card here that I'm carrying around in my shirt pocket. And this is called St. Anthony's Brief. Can you see that? All right, St. Anthony's Brief. And on the back, there is a crucifix and a couple of um, prayers, Latin and English, of the same prayer. And on the front, is a picture of St. Anthony and just a little short prayer. Now, before I read that to you, I'm going to tell you the story of St. Anthony's brief. Thousands of clients all over the world make a practice of wearing or carrying on their persons a copy of the famous brief of St. Anthony believing that they ensure for themselves his powerful protection against dangers to soul and body. The brief had its origin in one of those characteristic miracles by which the saint of Padua loves to show his interest in the earnest solicitude for the spiritual and temporal troubles of all who invoke him. A poor Portuguese woman, almost demented by grief and, tr and trouble, resolved to put an end to her life by throwing herself into the river Tagus. And on her way to the river, as she was passing the shrine of St. Anthony, she cast herself on her knees for a moment to breathe, as she thought, a last prayer to the saint. And whilst kneeling at the foot of the statue, she fell into a deep sleep. And on awakening, she found herself delivered from her terrible temptation and hanging around her neck 
she found the brief or letter of St. Anthony. Well, the king, being desirous of preserving the precious writing, had it brought to him and placed in the royal archives where it is still preserved with the crown jewels of Portugal. After parting with it, the woman felt weak again, and hearing this, the king had a copy of it made for her. The brief consists of a cross, together with the following words, which are taken from a liturgical anthem of the Roman breviary of the Feast of the Holy Cross. Now, tomorrow is, or rather, let's see, today. <laughs> to, uh, Monday, May 3rd, is the Feast of the Finding of the Holy Cross. As you know, I'm releasing these videos on, uh, on Sunday night, Monday morning at midnight. So you have a full day ahead before you pray the prayer. So I'm filming this on Sunday. But nevertheless, the video is released on Monday. And Monday, May 3rd, is the Feast of the Finding of the Holy Cross. So for the Roman breviary of the Feast of the Holy Cross, Behold the cross of the Lord, flee ye adversaries, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, has conquered Alleluia. And that is the brief of St. Anthony. So here we are. On the card, you see the crucifix, and you see a prayer in Latin and in English. In Latin, Ecce crucem domini, fugite partes adverse, vicit leo de tribu juda, radix David, Alleluia. Behold the cross of the Lord, be gone all evil powers, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David has conquered, Alleluia. All right, so one is to carry this on his person, or on her person, uh, or to wear it, and it is a powerful protection against dangers to soul and body. I guess you could look at it in a similar way to the St. Benedict Medal. Now, I, I got this prayer card from Catholic prayercards.org. And actually, they it is a nice source. I mean, they don't know that I'm <laughs> giving them a pitch. But it is a nice source for getting stuff like this. They make some very nice prayer cards. You could also copy it out yourself on a little sheet of paper and uh, or a little card and place it in your shirt pocket. Gentlemen, ladies, you could carry it with you in, well, however, however it is that ladies carry things with them. All right, well, let's continue then here. No investment is necessary. In other words, you don't have to be invested in or enrolled in, the, uh, in this prayer. And there are no special prayers prescribed, but it is worn to obtain the protection of St. Anthony, and it is recommended that a short prayer be said to him daily, and the following collect would be very suitable. Let us pray. May your holy confessor Anthony intercede for us, O Lord, upon whom, adorned with heroic virtues, you bestowed the gift of miracles, even unto working prodigious signs and wonders, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Well, on this card, it also has a little prayer to the same, to a similar effect. O Saint Anthony, prayerful warrior against every evil, come to our defense and protect us from any wickedness that could harm us. Amen. And so that having been said, I'm going to slip this back in my shirt pocket so that I am wearing this prayer as a powerful protection against soul and body. Well, there we have something about St. Anthony's brief. Now, let us pray our, our novena prayer for the fourth Tuesday. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. Blessed Saint Anthony, you, like the martyrs and the saints who proclaimed Christ, were always ready to suffer persecution for his sake. I greet you now and ask you to approach Almighty God and implore him to grant my request. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And the efficacious prayer to St. Anthony found on the back cover of your prayer folder here. O holy Saint Anthony, one of the gentlest and kindest of all the saints, your burning love of God, your exalted virtue, and your great charity toward your fellow creatures made you worthy when on earth to possess miraculous powers of an exalted kind. Miracles waited on your word, and that word you were ever ready to speak at the request of those in trouble. The anxious prayer of bitter trial was never addressed to you in vain. To the sick, you gave back health. You restored what was lost. The sorrow-stricken were the objects of your tender compassion. And even the dead, you raised to life when the wounded heart cried out to you in the depths of its anguish. When on earth nothing was impossible to you, except not to have compassion on those in distress and sorrow. And encouraged by this thought, and convinced of the efficacy of your intercession, I kneel before your holy image, and full of confidence, I implore you to obtain for me my requests. Let us call to mind our requests for this novena. and all the intentions of those praying this novena. The answer to this, my prayer, may require a miracle. Even so, are you not the saint of miracles, who when on earth had but to speak, and the mightiest wonders were wrought? O gentle and loving Saint Anthony, you whose heart was ever full of human sympathy, whisper my prayer into the ears of the infant Jesus, who loved to linger in your arms, one word from you, and my prayer will be granted. O oh, speak that word, and the gratitude of my heart will ever be yours. In nomine Patris et Filii, et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. <laughs> 